doing an experiment. Wanted to know whether, because there's so many different growing mediums you can use, hello, <clears throat> to put your seeds in. You can use hemp or other types of materials which they provide, these companies provide, for microgreens with all the equipment. Or some have been using kitchen towels. Um, some have been using um, the reusable kitchen towels. And some are using compost, dirt. So I wanted to try an experiment to see what is best. Bearing in mind, this is the UK in February, March. We are, we are going through winter and we are very overcast. We hardly see the actual sun at all. It's always overcast with cloud. It's about five degrees out there, so it's really cold. Um, so even though these microgreens are sitting on the windowsills all day, obviously they spend their nights at dark, but then they do that out there anyway. I wanted to know whether kitchen towel was the right thing or micro, um, oh, micro or dirt, compost. This is compost we bought in a bag from the garden centre. Not dug up from our garden. <laughs> it's got too many, I don't know, grass seeds and stuff in it, I think. But anyway, I wanted to show you. This is after, I think it's been a week or at least five five or six days since I've done the dirt. But I wanted to show you what's happened in between then and now. So let me get the one that's on kitchen towel. There we go. This is the one on kitchen towel. Now, although it's growing, it's not grown much in the last few days and it looks okay but it's considering some people who grow these microgreens say that you can plant them and pick them five to seven days and this has been for a couple of weeks and um yeah okay so this is the uk's winter like i said no sun i'm not going to go and buy i'm not going to go and buy a light a light bulb because a lot of people use the uv light bulbs and i'm not going to do that because one i've got i've got all the equipment i've got is this are these because uh, this is brand new for me. This is my first lot I'm growing. So I don't want to go out and buy all the equipment if it's going to be a two minute fad. So anyway, these are the ones that are grown on kitchen towel. And I'll get the date out because I've got it stuck on the lid here. Ah, this is Cal. 22nd of February. And now is mm, the 4th of March so you can see it's very slow growing it's growing but it's very very slow and now I get the one that's are planted in dirt what I did what I did I took three broccoli sprouts <laughs> I took three broccoli sprouts and three cow sprouts and I stuck them in compost just I wanted to see what would happen so these are those, those ones oops now look at these look at the size of them hey Finn look at these now you can see if I hold it up like that 
they are above this level. I mean, look at this one. Reach for the sky. This one's a little bit, a bit of a struggle. But yeah, you can see that most of these are growing. There are some that are struggling a bit. But then, I said this is the UK. So, you can compare the difference. These are tiny, these are tiny, tiny, tiny. These are tiny. Whereas the leaves, let me put this one back. Come back in in the daylight. There you go. Whereas the leaves on this one is not only taller, but the leaves are bigger. They're actually bigger. So I think what I'm going to do is because when you grow these. They grow to a certain height and when they're ready, you just snip them with the scissors because you don't want to the dirt part, even though you wash it and wash it and wash it, you still have a little bit of dirt there and a lot of people say, no, don't do that. Just snip it all off and just eat the top bit and then you can either reuse the dirt or pop it out in a pot somewhere or wherever in the garden. But I think, judging by the looks of these, and how well they're doing just in those few days the difference is amazing the tiny leaves tiny little stems they're really struggling in here and the thing is I can't pluck them out of here and plant them in there now because it, it'll take me a year I think to pluck each one out <laughs> no I'm just gonna leave them might have that as a salad garnish or something but yeah the difference is amazing so there's my experiment and for me in particular winter in the UK it's not very good for microgreens oh yeah, I've got them little bits of board everywhere it's not very good for microgreens and sun so unless you go out and buy all the equipment and UV lights and racks to put them on and keeping them at a good temperature as well I'm not ready to do all of that. This is just something I've only just started. So, yeah. Put this back on the windowsill. So, don't poke me in the head. Go away. Plastic plant. Plastic plant. I can grow plastic plants. So I think it might be different in the summer. I got my voice is lovely and squeaky. It might be different in the summer where we actually get sun and then the, the microgreens would go, yay, sun, and boom, there you go. I might get a crop in five days. But in our UK winters without UV bulbs or anything like that, hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a struggle. I think I'm going to use a bag of compost and do it that way. So I just thought I'd give you an update. Other people might be doing fine. But for me and my first time, mm -hmm. kitchen towel is not quite working. Considering the length of time they've got to be in there. If it was just a few days, it might be all right. They're like in summer, it might be all right. But the length of time it's been in there so far, since the 22nd of February, it's now the 4th of March. Well, I think it's the 4th of March or the 5th of March. I can't remember. But, yeah. I'm going to start using dirt next time. I 
actually, I think the sun's come out. Yeah, hey, there's a break in the cloud. Quick, go out and sunbathe. Yay! <laughs> not that mad, not that mad. No, nope, that's it for now. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Love and peace out there. <laughs> no, that way. Not that way. That way. <laughs>